Good day, children. While doing my reading for the Kaiser Wilhelm lesson, I came across this hilarious photograph of a demonstration of a protective vest by the Berlin police in 1928. The original caption alleges that this apron, as I'm now calling it, could withstand the force of a nine millimeter round fired from a distance of one meter. In fact, the caption states that the bullets bounce off ineffectively. Das Bundesarchiv does, however, indicate that the text might be a little exaggerated, shall we say. Nevertheless, let us now imagine how this scene might have played out had we been there. OK, Helga, stand over there, please, one metre away. Yes, that's good. I am going to kill you. Or am I? You never know with me, do you? It may well be worth your time to beg for mercy. Then again, it may not. I may kill you cleanly with a single shot, like an English gentleman. But then again, I'm not an English gentleman. Are you okay? Wunderbar! Yes, bulletproof vests can indeed be an effective defence against bullets, but they themselves are no silver bullet, if you'll excuse my little play on words there. <laughs> As a side note, the belief in the magical power of silver weapons to conquer foes goes back at least to ancient Greece, according to the online etymology dictionary. Hence the metaphor silver bullet, meaning a simple and seemingly magical solution to a complicated problem. Silver bullets are also effective in killing werewolves, apparently, so there's a handy bit of information for you. The bulletproof vest, however impressive it may be, does not constitute a magical solution to a complicated problem, however. And the problem happens to be quite complicated. You see, a bullet is not a bullet is not a bullet. Bullets are high-speed projectiles of hugely varying properties and spanning a wide variety of applications. I do not wish to state the obvious, of course, but it is important for our brief look today at the humble Durchschusshemende Weste, as it is known in German, to understand that it is not a one-size-fits-all piece of armour, so to say. In case you are wondering, Durchschusshemende Weste is not a made-up word. Oh, no. In fact, the German language offers us several amazing words that mean approximately the same thing. We have, in no particular order... Kugelsichere Weste. In this case, Kugel translates as bullet in English. Sichere meaning, in this case, proof. -er. By that I do not mean proof, -er, which Wiktionary tells me is a chamber used in baking that encourages fermentation of dough by yeast through warm temperatures and controlled humidity. Not that. Weste is vest in English. Thus, a literal translation of the German would be bulletproof -er vest very close to the English in meaning. Schuss sichere Weste? You've got to love those three S's in a row, don't you? Only in German. If you count the H, you've got four consonants in a row. Pretty impressive. In this synonym, Schuss means shot, so you've got the shot proofer vest, if you will. Beschusshemende Weste? Bombardment inhibiting vest. Schutzweste? Protection vest. Flakweste, Flakvest, Kevlarweste, Kevlarvest, and finally Durchschusshemende Weste. Durch meaning through, Schuss meaning shot, and Hemende meaning inhibiting. Through shot, inhibiting vest. All very sensible, wouldn't you say? More than just sensible, there is something important we can infer from these German words. That is, there are a wide variety of bulletproof vests, each suited to a particular application. This, however, is out of my scope of expertise. Safe to say, the bigger the bullets, the thicker the vest ought to be. OK? OK. I'm just here for the amusing pictures, really. Just look at this amazing one here, taken in 1923. It's a work of art. There's so much in this photograph for the 21st century mind to gawk at. For a start, look at how stylish these gentlemen are. No open collars here. No, sir. Excellently tailored, neatly pressed trousers on both men. And look at those shoes, polished and pristine. And the little signet ring on this gentleman's finger. The modestly sized watch face. Slicked back hair. And the gentleman on the left takes the bullet with a smile, with not a single pair of safety goggles in sight. Incredible. 
and look at this picture of a Belgian shepherd wearing a bulletproof vest. This one got me thinking about what other animals we adorn with armour, and my mind went to barding. But before we touch on that, let me just clarify for those of you who have already shouted, Hold up! This dogger over here might look like a German shepherd, but he is not. He is of the Malinois variety of Belgian shepherds, which can easily be confused with the Alsatian. Now, barding. 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 Barding is armor for horses for practical purposes, although it looks pretty cool too. You'll find on the head of a mare or a boy horse a helmet that would not fit you. A chaffron, a chamfron, a chamfron, a chamfron, they all really mean the same thing. That is to say, they refer to a faceplate that does not quite cover the mane. La da 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 of Dover that they call it the Crinia. Da 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 there's only one thing left to be said before we run out of time. That is... Barding is armour for horses from practical sources, although it looks pretty cool too. You'll find on the head of a steel-plated warhorse a rondel, a spike, or a plume. La da 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 da